Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Alex and these are free tools. Uh, these came from my auntie, so they're a bit of a family hand-me-down. Um, and I believe they all belong to my uncle, who is my mother's brother. Um, so we'll have a look through these, see whether we've got any hidden gems in there. Fingers crossed. So it's a bit of a mixed bag really, a um, few of the things I'm keeping, a few of them are not. These are unbranded little files, I'm going to keep those, can't have too many small files. I'll give them a quick clean up before I put them in the uh, tool chest. That is broken handle and broken, or at least bent shaft, oh and it comes out as well. So I think that can go in the uh, I don't want pile. Um, a medium sized little file I do love files again that I'm going to keep I'll probably give the uh, the handle a bit of a treatment give it a bit of a clean up um, it does say python not come across python before not sure whether you can see that so let's keep her anyway uh, drill will be going in my drill box a set of snips let's say something on them we'll get that cleaned up a bit so I can't make the name out it's it's warm but it is West German so I'll keep those now that I do know is uh, CK that is a German company They've been going for around about, I think it's about 100 years, something like that. So that'll be in the keeping pile. I'll give that a quick clean up. Stanley Screwdriver, England. Got chewing gum on it by the looks of it. Again, I'll keep that. And another Stanley. This is a Stanley wooden handled one. I really like that. Just needs a little uh, collet around the end. So I'll have to keep an eye out for one of them. Three unbranded little screwdrivers they're going and a large hammer with a split in it that needs repairing so I'm not sure whether I'm going to do anything with that I haven't got a big hammer like this so could be another project um, I don't think a repair is in order not the size of the, the head because that's a good one a few scrapers Again, no markings on them. I'll give that one a quick clean up. And it actually says Governor on it. Which if you've seen my C clamp video, that was a governor too. If you want any history on governors, watch that. Nice aluminium handled scraper. Again, I think I'll keep that. I've got a couple of scrapers, but nothing this size before. Uh, usual trowel Stanley England screwdriver yeah probably going for the resale a Japanese I think it's Hilka Hilka not heard of those but I like the look of that don't think I'll keep it though I think that's pretty much a good one. Snap-on talon grip, 96 CF. I think once that gets a bit of a clean-up, that'll come out quite nice. It's only dirty. Very cheap little uh, jemmy bar. Quite cute, that is. 99p, not sure where from or when, but I should think that's uh, reasonably old, probably Chinese, I should think. Couple of chisels, won't bother keeping them couple of Dunlop tire levers I've got loads of these I might just add them to the collection never know and that is some kind of I'm assuming upholstery tool for getting pins out maybe I'll 
give that a quick clean up. It is split though. Uh, generic orange screwdriver. Quite like that actually. It's got a nice feel to it. And I think that might respond quite well to a good clean up. Completely unbranded. But yeah, I like orange. And this is an old screwdriver. And let's see. It's got name attached to it. Some of these have got names. And it's... And whether you can see it very well on this one, I'll show you on one of the others. H. Foxall. So whoever H. Foxall was, that's his screwdriver. Um, that will, I think that will come out quite nice with a, a bit of a clean-up. Looks like it's been uh, used with mole grips as well or something. Uh, that looks like it's some kind of punch. A Spiralux flat-bladed screwdriver. Again, I won't be keeping that one. Yale padlock. In good working order. Definitely keeping that. And now we've got some gimlets. Uh, and they are obviously for drilling into wood. And they're quite nice. Again, a little bit of a clean up. Maybe treat the handle on that one. But this one is a marples, so that's definitely going to get cleaned up and kept. I do like the look of that. Old spirit level. I know how difficult these spirit level bubbles are to come by, so uh, I'm going to keep that for a future project. I'm sure I'll have an old spirit level that that can be replaced in. Now this, I wasn't quite sure what it was, but it's actually... A little case for precision drill bits. That leads us to three chisels, also home owned by H. Foxall. Although well, actually, it looks like a Y on this one. Yeah. Hmm. Jewelry's out on that. One looks like a Y, one looks like a V. Anyway. So that is Palm Tree Moorwood, Sheffield. I don't think I've come across one of those. I'll have to look into that. This one is X Ministry of Defence, and it's got the crow's feet there, and 1941 on it, and that is made by I don't know, can't make that out. Almost looks like Storrent. Most of it's worn away. I'll have to have a look into that as well. Again, it is the property of Mr. or Mrs. H. Vauxhall. No markings on that. But I like old chisels as well, so that's going to respond to a good cleanup. And the collet's broken on that. And finally, is I'll give that a quick shine up. And that is, let's see whether you can see it. It's Kismet special giant model and that is a tire pressure gauge I really like that comes in a little leather pouch as well which probably needs treating 
Um, not related to this at all, but um, certainly related to that. I have a Kismet baby as well, which has been lying around waiting to be restored. So those two will be um, a good pair. Right, I'll get some of these cleaned up and show you what they look like. And this is what I'll be keeping out of my uh, little two haul. I'm particularly pleased with the snap-on talon grip pliers. They've come up really, really nicely. Um, this chisel, which I couldn't find any uh, names on underneath all the rust. It actually turns out this is a Marple's chisel, so that's a definite keeper. Uh, again, Marple's theme. I'm really going to keep that. That is brilliant. Um, and my other little uh, favourite is the Kiz Kismet Special. Um, tire pressure gauge I think that's come up really nicely I've treated the case cleaned the um, cleaned the leather off first of all with a leather cleaner then I've used some neats for oil just to make it a little bit more supple so that should last a little while longer thanks very much for watching I'll catch you on the next one